What's going on guys? So I have my beautiful wife next to me. You want to say hi to everyone? Hey guys. So we are in the 2023 GMC Sierra Denali 1500 pickup truck. Uh, we have 2,672 miles on it right now. And we've taken some pretty long trips in this truck so far. And uh, you know, for the most part, everything's been really good about the truck. It's get It gets phenomenal fuel economy. I mean, like mind blowing fuel economy. But that's not the point of today's video. So in a previous video, I told you all that we were gonna do some driving evaluations using different types of seat cushion enhancing comfort accessories. Basically something you just put behind your back to make it feel a little bit more comfortable because both my wife and I agree that these aren't the most comfortable seats you can get in a pickup truck. I think they're firm. They're not bad, but they are a little firm as far as the back, like a, I don't know. It just feels like you're you're sitting in, a, in an office chair somewhat. No, I'm not, I'm not it's saying not they're- too bad though. Yeah, they're not terrible. They're not terrible in terms of comfort. Some people may absolutely love these seats. Those same people are probably people who like a really firm mattress to sleep on. Right? Whereas I don't think I like an overly plush mattress, but I like one that's kind of right in the middle. And I feel that these seats definitely lean way more towards the equivalent of like a really firm mattress. Now, even on long trips, I haven't necessarily felt them get like that much more comfortable. But what about you? Well, the first time I drove the truck, my back was, it, it was hurting. My back was hurting after I got off of the truck and I thought, said that your back hurt the first couple of times that you drove the truck but now here lately you haven't complained anymore so I guess you got used to it. I'm kind of getting used to it you know it's, it's just kind of interesting because I don't feel as if the seats have gotten any more comfortable I feel as maybe if I've been driving the truck enough that I'm, I'm adapting to them I'm just understanding what type of comfort to expect from them if that makes sense. Yeah. I guess it was just, I wasn't used to the firmness, the backrest, I guess. What's what's also interesting about this is, is that, of course, you guys know that we test and review a lot of vehicles on the channel. Um, Ford vehicles are what we personally own, and this is the first GMC vehicle, or first GMC pickup truck that we've ever owned. And we can honestly say so far that, at least I feel like the Ford seats have been more comfortable. And then even Ram seats to me feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't think even when we had that red Ram dually, when we drove it up to San Antonio and we were towing the RV, I don't think we ever really talked much about the seats. They weren't something that were like, oh man, these are super comfortable or super uncomfortable, which I think leans more towards a comfortable seat when you don't have to mention it. Right. It doesn't, doesn't make you talk about it because it doesn't bother you. Yeah, exactly. Now. What my wife realized when she hopped in the truck today is that I installed some accessories on the seats. Behind me, I have this really interesting airbag I showed in the first video. So this is an inflatable back support for a vehicle. Um, very awkward looking, kind of alien-ish. It works okay, but my wife pointed something out. And what did you point out to me? <laughs> Your head is about at least eight inches away Eight rest, inches? Oh least. my it's, gosh. It's long, yeah. It's, I want to take a picture of it so you can put it on there. So you can probably do that. And you can see how far it looks. Yeah, so eight inches is, it's not only comically funny, but it's also unsafe because the whole point of a headrest is to support your head and to prevent your neck and head from getting injured in the event of a collision. And at this point, with my head being spaced so far away from it, I feel as if I could probably really get hurt if we got into a car accident. Good whiplash. Right? Yeah. Yep. And in terms of your seat, you're currently using the taxi cab beads, <laughs> the wooden beads. And I kind of surprised her with this. She got in. And I said, "Welcome to a beaded back support." What do you think of them so far? They're actually comfortable. They don't. You can't even tell that they're beads, but they are slippery. So I, I almost ended up on the floorboard a minute ago that you slammed your brakes. Yeah, she would be reporting to you from the floorboard of this truck. Uh, and I kind of noticed that too when I first put them in, I kind of checked them out. Yeah, your butt kind of rolls around on them, on them a little bit. They're not uncomfortable, at least I didn't feel they were uncomfortable. Are they enhancing the comfort of the seat to you? 
They sort of are a little bit, surprisingly. I mean, every taxi cab driver in New York City is probably like yelling at the screen going, <laughs> these things are awesome. I don't know what you're not getting about them, but. It, it sort of feels like it's uh, hugging my back a little instead of it just being straight and firm. But uh, it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. It actually feels a little more cushiony and surprising. Well, so, so the magic behind them apparently is the fact that they space your back off of the seat a little bit and the beads allow air to get to behind your back so your back doesn't sweat as much. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a good thing, I guess. Is that or the main purpose of them? I don't know if that's the main purpose. I think the main purpose is those little beads are supposed to act as like little massaging rollers on your back. Yeah, I can see myself. I slide side to side and yeah, it's, it's giving me a little tiny massage, but the bottom part is where I have to be careful. Yeah, because these kind, kind of, of slip off. yeah, they lay out to over the bottom, and I could raise them up high enough to where it's just on your back, so that would probably be a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but y you know, you see them in a lot of vehicles, so obviously they do something, and they're not uncomfortable. So yeah, now the next one is going to be when my wife gets out of the truck, how much of her hair gets ripped out of her head oh. um, because they <laughs> stick to the beads. So I didn't think about that, so let's hope not. Yeah, can you lean forward without feeling like mm -hmm. they're yeah. being? tied so, to your hair so far nothing's caught hmm that's interesting <laughs> so we're gonna take a long trip in this configuration I may have to deflate some of the bags if I can I don't th actually think I can just so I get the right head support um, but if I get whiplash that's that's because of you guys right I'm, I'm doing this for you all I'm taking one for the team um, so far I can tell you that it's actually pretty comfortable this airbag it's it's not uncomfortable but what is very strange feeling it feels like I'm sitting at the very edge of the seat, the very front edge of the seat, because it's essentially, with these airbags being full, it's forcing me to scoot up about three inches in the seat. And I don't feel like I'm getting any support underneath my legs, at least underneath the front part of my legs. You know, it's like when you, um, when you were in school and they told you to sit at the front of your chair, this is kind of like what it's doing. It's forcing me to sit at the front of the seat, which is awkward. It feels really weird, actually. Uh, I don't know if I would keep it just for that one reason. No matter how comfortable it is on my back, I feel as if where it's making me sit on the chair makes me feel unstable and less comfortable. Yeah, it's, it, I don't think it's worth you getting whiplash as far as, as far as you are with your head to the headrest. Yeah, it's, I don't, that's not safe. Yeah, I mean, literally, if I put my head back, it feels like my head is leaning only on the back. I'm not, yeah. yeah. I have to literally push myself really hard back for my head to touch the headrest, and that is not safe. So that alone would make me not recommend these, only because I feel from a safety perspective, it kind of defeats the function of the seat and how the seat is supposed to help you in the event of an accident. I mean, I'm thinking if you pick it up a little higher, then I could see where the headrest would, but even then it's still not, um, it's still a good two, three inches away at least. Yeah, and then if you pick it up all the way. If I do pick it up, I wonder if my, my butt will sink in underneath it then and I'm going to lose that lumbar support because it's giving me some really good lumbar support right now. Hmm. Um, but I can deflate the top. No, I can deflate the bottom bag. I can't actually deflate the top bag. That would have been nice if it would have had three air chambers and you could let air out of the top one so at least your back leans back a little bit more. How are them beats coming along? They're comfortable. I didn't even notice them until you told me. <laughs> I mean, there are some little pieces, I guess, where they're connected. I don't know if it's connected with some kind of wire. Yeah, anymore. it's like a fishing string kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that fishing string, and there's little pieces that are poking through, and yeah, that that's kind of going through my. Uh, I'm wearing some warm up pants, so yeah, they're uh, they're poking through, and they, they, they <laughs> hurt. So I'm like, what is that? But I am sliding. But it's I all part of the almost. experience. Mm -hmm. But if I raised it up higher, so it was only under on your back area. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. Like I said, I didn't even notice them. It just feels like it's sort of contouring, kind of contouring to your back, not just a straight back. Well, that's or cool. Straight, straight surfaces. So we're going to take a long drive, uh, not today, but we're going to actually have a long drive this weekend, and we're going to see how these perform on a long drive. And then whichever one wins after we swap, so we're going to go there in this configuration, then we're going to swap them on the trip back. And I don't think your, your neck is going to have a problem hitting this one because she's shorter than I am. So the airbag here will probably still kind of cradle her neck. But then whichever one wins out of these two will go up against the memory foam one that's in the back seat right now. And the memory foam 
back support is going to be interesting because, I mean, you guys hear about memory foam being used for just about everything nowadays. So it'll be interesting to see in a, on a long trip, a couple of hours, how memory foam performs compared to air or beads. But I do have to say the seats and the truck, the actual seat itself, I do like that my head does rest, even if it's the bottom portion or the lower portion of the headrest, I am able to, to lean back and easily just relax and, uh, and feel it. The only other thing that um, I'd like to add is that these headrests do not adjust forward and back. They don't tilt. Yeah, they're just straight up. That's probably why I can I can easily just put my head back and touch it versus some of the other ones I have to really lean back. Yeah, like on your expedition, I think you have to lean back kind of far on that yeah, one, right? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're very thick headrests. They're very, like very that. thick. I do like that I'm able to do that easily here. Well, on the passenger seat. Yeah. Anyways, this is going to be interesting. We're definitely going to revisit this topic in a future video. I'll definitely put a link in the description of this video if this is something you may be interested in. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.